Wise world crumbled in an instant. The joy of discovering Thaisen was her own flesh and blood brutally snatched away by the night's dreadful events. She felt a hollow emptiness, a void where her heart should have been, as the realization set in that her son, her newly found son, was in the hands of someone with a vendetta. The young paced the room like a caged animal, his mind racing with worst case scenarios. The pain was aged deeply into his features, a stark reminder of the fierce love he bore for his son. How could this happen? He whispered, his voice barely audible over the sound of his own despair. I should have been here. I should have protected him. Fresh tears left Vyan's eyes after hearing his words after all she was the one who told him that she needed to confront that mother. Then at that time only. Because of her only, they left the house. As they tried to piece together the chaos, a chilling truth emerged, a note left carelessly on the metal board, the unmistakable handwriting of Mrs. Lee, it read, You took my daughter from me and now I take what is most precious to you. You will feel the same pain I am going through. The words were like a knife to Vine's heart, confirming her worst fears. Her mother, consumed by revenge, had orchestrated this nightmare. Meanwhile, Jimin lay in a hospital bed, his body battered but his spirit unbroken. He had fought valiantly a testament to his loyalty and courage, but the assassin had been too many and too determined. As he drifted in and out of consciousness, his thoughts were not for himself but for Thaisen, the boy he had sworn to protect. Vyan and Thiang stood united in their grief, they, but their resolve did not waver. They would move heaven and earth to bring Thaisen back to the heal the wounds that this night had inflicted upon their family. Sometimes later. The silence in the Lee household was defaming as Thayang and Vayan, flanked by police officers, stepped through the threshold. The air was heavy with the scent of betrayal. Only few hours ago, this very room had echoed with the revelation of Mrs. Lee's deception. Mr. Lee stood by the window, his figure casting a long shadow across the floor. His eyes filled with a mix of confusion and drawing realization met Vine's tearful gaze. He then whispered, his voice barely audible. I was here, Vine, my child. I heard everything, but I didn't want to believe. The young skis was steely, his mind racing with the events that had unfolded just hours before. They had confronted Mrs. Lee right here in the living room where family portraits smiled down at them mockingly. She admitted to lying about this. The young said his voice steady despite the turmoil with him. She was here, she confessed. Where is she now? The police officers began their search, their movements precise and deliberate. Vyan's hands trembled as she recounted the harrowing truth to her father. Mom told us Thaisen was stillborn, but it was a lie. She took him from us, from me. Vyan's voice broke the pain of years of losing, pouring out. Mr. Lee sank into a chair, his face ashen. He then confessed, his eyes avoiding theirs. She was here, yes, but after your confrontation, she left in a hurry. I didn't know where she went or why. The house gave no secrets, no clues to Mrs. Lee's whereabouts or Thaisen's. The young moved to stand beside Vyan, his presence, a silent vow of unity in the face of their shared anguish. We will find him, Vyan.
Thiang promised his voice firm, no matter what it takes. As the dark night crept in, the house seemed to hold its breath, waiting for a resolution that seemed just out of reach. Mr. Lee watched his daughter and the young, a divorced couple brought together by a common purpose, and felt a glimmer of hope amidst the despair. Hours later, the evening was silent except for the distant wail of sirens as they approached the scheduled house where Mrs. Lee had taken Thesen. Wise's heart reached with a mix of dread and determination. This was the moment she would finally confront her mother and rescue her son. As the police surrounded the perimeter, Wayne stepped forward, her voice echoing in the stillness. Mom, this has to end. You can't use this then to hurt Thea, to hurt me. He's innocent, Mom. He's just a small child. Her eyes were red due to the crying. Mrs. Lee appeared at the window, her silhouette framed against the dim light inside. He took you away from me, Vyan. I lost my daughter because of him. It's only fair he experienced the same pain. But Thaisen is your grandson, your daughter's flesh, the same daughter you were claiming to love so much. Vyan's voice cracked with emotion. How could you lie about him being stillborn? How could you keep him away from me? How could you give pain to your very same daughter whom you sought to love? You didn't even melt after seeing me become a mentally unstable mom. Mrs. Lee's voice was cold. You chose the young over your own family. Now he will know what it's like to lose a child. Isn't what normal thing to happen, Vyan's mom? See this in yourself. You do love Vyan more than anyone. She is always your first priority. Then why are you behaving like this? Why are you giving to your daughter whose single scratch on you couldn't wear? She should have chosen me then. Who told her to choose this piece of? Who always takes her away from me? Always invade our personal times? You were sounding sick, Mrs. Lee. You were crossing the sacred bond between a mother and a child. You rascal! She shifted her full focus on Thea, cursing him, narrating how, because of him only, she was standing here. She completely got aware of her surroundings due to her rage. The night air was tense with anticipation as the police prepared to take charge. The house, once a symbol of familiar warmth, now stood as the fortress of secrets and lies. Inside, Thaisen lay unconscious, a sleeping innocence amidst the chaos of adult. With a nod from Vyan, the signal was given. The police moved with a precision. They are trading evident in the silent efficiency of their approach. The door was breached and they swept into the old house, their eyes scanning for any sign of the child. In the dimly lit room, they found him, Thaisen, Vyan's world, lying peacefully in deep, medicated slumber. Mrs. Lee stood definitely, her anger a palpable force, but it was too much for the loss to grip. As the officers restrained her, the young brushed past his heart in his throat. There, in the soft glow of nightlight, lay his son. Gently lifting Thaisen into his arms, he cradled the boy against his chest. His lips pressed a tender kiss onto the child's forehead, a silent prayer of thanks that he was unharmed. Thiang's eyes roamed over Thaisen's face, searching for any sign of injury. His fingers brushing lightly over the boy's skin, finding none, he let out a breath he didn't realize he was holding. 
outside wine washed her soul torn between relief and a overwhelming tide of emotions as the young emerged from the house their son safe in his arms the weight of the past days events finally caught up with her her vision blurred her strength waned and the world spun as she crumbled to the ground succumbing into the darkness of a faint the scene cuts to black leaving the image of a family on the brink of either collapse or revolt their fate yet to be decided when we clatter The young kneeled down in front of Athesin, his hands gently fixing the little one's jacket. The hospital's visiting hours were drawing near, and the air was thick with a mix of anticipation and the faint scent of spring blossoms from the open window. The young began his voice a soft melody in the quiet of the room. Athesin, my little baby, do you remember Daisy, the lady we met last week? Tayson's eyes sparkled with recognition, nodding eagerly. Daisy, pretty, like mom's school photo. I like Daisy. A tender smile graced the young's lips. Yes, she is very pretty, but she is not just pretty like your mom's school pic. Tayson, she is your mom. Why? The boy tilted his head, confusion knitting his brows together. Mom, but you said mom was with the stars. The young took a deep breath, the weight of the truth settling on his shoulders. I did, and I am sorry for that. I told you so because mom has been very sick, and I didn't want you to worry or to be wild around her. It was to keep her safe, to let her rest. But she is getting better, and she wants to see you very much. Mom not gone. Tayson's voice was barely a whisper, a mix of hope and uncertainty. No, my love, she's not gone. She's been fighting a big battle, and she's so strong, just like you, my love. The young's fingers brushed against Tayson's cheeks, wiping away the hint of a tear. Would you like to see her today? We can go together or to the hospital. We will surprise her. Tayson nodded, a small smile breaking through. I be good for mom. I help mom fight battles. That's my brave boy. The young said, standing up and holding out his hand. Let's go meet Daisy, your mom, Vyan. Hand in hand, father and son stepped out into the world, ready to face it together, ready to bring back the missing piece of their family. at hospital The world slowly came back into focus as Wayne's eyes opened. The beeping of machines blending with the soft morning light that filtered through the hospital room. Her mind was foggy, her body was weak, but her heart surged with life at the sight before her. A small figure, no more than four years old, stood hesitant by the door. His tiny hand claps in the firm grip of a man whose face was aged with lines of worry and hope. The young's eyes, wide and filled with a child's pure curiosity, met hers, and the soft claps escaped his lips. Mama, he said the word new and wondrous, as if testing it for the first time. Wine's breath caught in her throat, tears spreading to her eyes. She managed to say her voice a mere whisper. Yes, Tessin, my little star, I am your mama. Tessin's face broke into a tentative smile and he took a small, uncertain step forward. He then asked his voice last with concern. Mama sick. Yes, but I am getting better now. Vyan assured him, her heart swelling with love for the son she had never known. 
behind the sin thing stood a silent sentinel his eyes once cold with bitterness now shone with unspoken apologies he remembered the harsh words the slamming doors the finality of their divorce all sparked by misunderstanding that had cost them years wagon beckoned Thaisen closer and he toddled to her side, climbing onto the bed with the help of his father. The young kids made wagons over their son's head, a silent conversation passing between them. Daddy said you were a star in the sky, Thaisen murmured looking up at wagon with awe. He didn't want me to dis- dis- stop your checkups. I am naughty, right? You had felt st- Tired, so he lied. Fresh tears pulled in Vine's eyes, hearing Thesin's words. With his small hands, Thesin wiped Vine's tears. Don't cry, I am here now. Overwhelmed by her emotions, Vine hugged Thesin tightly. Her tears, wetting his T-shirt, didn't know how, but that small kid thought it was best to caress his mother's back to console her in th- instead of using words. Vai looked at the young her eyes grateful that he told Thesen that he is she is her mother also that even when the young hated her all these years never told Thesen negative things about her he always narrated the good stories about her She parted away from Thesen and kissed his forehead then she looked at the young she began well feeling gratitude the young But the young shook his head gently and whispered, "Not now. Let's just be here with our son." Vagin noted the weight of her regret of not raising Thesen up was palpable. The young watched as Vagin held Thesen close. The boy's laughter a balm to the wounds of the past. In that moment, there was a glimmer of hope, a chance for forgiveness for a family torn apart to find their way back to each other.